Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about this motor. Um, those of you that follow my channel, um, I've changed this around a couple times. Uh, I used to have small coils and these are wound at 200 turns. Uh, I actually have a 18 and 226s because I ran this as a Bedini window motor a couple different times. And now we have it set up. Um, so this has six magnets on it, for those of you who haven't seen this before and um, rare earth and then I have it set up with the MOSFET circuit so we have the optical timing with three notches and then this is just my typical Kenergy uh, MOSFET circuit so the diodes pull out the power just like a Bedini circuit and then we have pulse width modulation right here um, this is redesigns pulse width it works really great and um, with the 16 inch fan blade so on the other videos when I did the Bedini ones obviously there, there wasn't a lot of um, adjustment on speed or anything you kind of set up what works best and um, that's pretty much how it stays um, on a MOS MOSFET circuit it's really nice because you have a full range of speed speed and power and you can kind of match it up for what you're trying to do to where you can still have good torque and then you can still have output so on this one the output on all my videos are white and yellow so whenever the motor turns off it pulses these diodes push it out and come through here and then this is one of my newer little cap dumps um, it has a little um, neon light that triggers the the transistor and then it comes into this light bulb uh, this is a 120 volt 4 watt light bulb um, it's a LED and so this one triggers uh, right around 80 volts and um, I've got two capacitors on there, uh, 100 volts at um, 100 mics. So, uh, and I offer these on my website, and there's just one capacitor on there, but I can make whatever you guys are interested in. But, um, so let's fire this thing up. I got the scope hooked up so you could see the spikes. And, uh, yeah, so this isn't a self starting motor, but it doesn't take much to start it. And, um, so we're going to start off at about 50 milliamps. So this is a pretty efficient motor. I mean, this is 50 milliamps. So as this builds up charge, um, when this gets to 80 volts, so let's watch it here, 80 volts, 81, 82. And then there's a delay because these light bulbs have a delay. So this will turn on as it's triggering, and then the light bulb has a slight delay, and then it will it'll kick off. And... Um, so this is the, the output coming out of the motor. And if you look on the scope right here, so each square is 50 volts. So um, it's pretty much in line with that cap dump. We're almost 100 volts. So this is the on, this is 12 volts. And then this is the off time right here in the bottom. So 50, um, just shy of 100. So right there around 80 volts. And uh, yeah. So it's turning pretty slow, so let's turn it up, let's go up to 100 milliamps. So here's 100 milliamps. And um, the light bulb starts going on a little bit quicker, obviously. And then we're starting to have more speed. So at 100 milliamps, uh, we're at 226 RPM, which is still pretty slow, but we're going to keep bringing it up. It's a pretty efficient motor, so... Here's 150, so we'll go to 200 milliamps. So now we're at 200 milliamps. And um, yeah, light starts coming off. So instead of putting a light bulb, um, this dumps at such a high voltage, you could put it right into a 48 volt battery. Um, it's just kind of neat seeing the light, um, you know, getting rid of the energy. But you could also put it in a 48 volt battery. Um, you can put it into 12, 24, whatever you want um, to collect that charge. Uh, but it's just kind of neat seeing it like this as a visual aid. So at uh, 200 milliamps, or about 385, and you can see on the scope the chops are starting to get more. So with the pulse width modulator, every time this is this whole area is uh, on time where the spikes are. So this whole width is on, and then the pulse width modulator turns it on and off individually in that time. So, um, 
So whenever this is on, so let's turn this off here. So on this time right here, so this cutout, you guys can see that, this cutout right here is the on time. So whenever this is open through the optical um, timing, so when it's right here, this is all on and then off. So when this is on right here, uh, the pulse width, depending on what percentage you have it on, will turn it off up to 20 to 50 times in that on period. So you get a whole bunch of chopping and it controls the speed of the motor, but we also get that output out of it. So let's um, kick this back up. So the pulse width is really, really handy. It gives you a good speed control and then you get a lot more energy in return. So let's bring it up to 300. We can so you can see it's starting to get a little bit wider there's less of those so so if we turn it all the way down you can see right away these get more and more and more and more so let's bring it up to about 400 milliamps so here's 400 milliamps at 12 volts and um, the light is just staying on because there's so much output coming through here that it's actually not even the the resistance of the light bulb isn't letting enough power out so it just stays on and um, there's our pulse width let's see what the RPM so now we're 635 so let's just bring it all the way up so now we're at full power so the pulse width is not really doing anything anymore because we could switch this over to get rid of the pulse width and so without the pulse width now you can see so this is the on time and then that one spike coming down now we just have one per timing so we have three timings per revolution so you get three pulses per revolution and just that one spike is charging this up enough to make this energy and uh, so so as soon as we put the pulse width modulator you see it starts chopping it up and you get a lot more of that on the bottom there so at full power let's see what the rpm is so we're 900 right here 890 no 900 901 rpms and we're using 650 milliamps so that's pretty efficient you know with just one circuit two coils that's really efficient and then we're getting all this in return too, which is really cool. So, yeah. Pretty neat little motor. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my store.